Good morning, friends. Um, this is Durga from IT University. Uh, so today we will continue on Spark. Uh, let me set up WebEx and we'll go there. Uh, please remember that this session is primarily backup for uh, uh, guys who are taking my live classes. Um, and also, if you want to practice, you can sign up to my lab uh, at labs.itversity.com. And you can actually start practicing whatever I'm explaining here. And also, if you need support while practicing, you can actually sign up to discuss.itversity.com. And you can ask any questions over here, and we'll be glad to support. So today, we are in the middle of the exercise uh, to develop a, a word count. So let me uh, start sharing the screen on WebEx, and we'll take it from there. So people on WebEx, I'm sharing my screen. Uh, you should be able to see me, uh, see my screen. If you have any issues, let me know. Um, and also, I'm uh, taking this class from a uh, office, so I get uh, I got office space, and I'm trying to test uh, the experience. So if you have any issues like uh, uh, too much uh, louder noise or lower noise or any background noise or uh, if there are any hiccups while uh, uh, while taking the classes, let me know immediately so that uh, I can work on those, OK? Anyway, we are in the middle of the exercise. Uh, I hope you guys can uh, see my screen and also hear me. Uh, please confirm in the chat. I am also starting recording. Are you guys able to see my screen and uh, listen to me? OK, thank you, Ramesh. Uh, so uh, to, uh, to get back to the context, we are working on, uh, OK, thank you, Ramesh. Uh, I think this is a very closed room, a small closed room. That's why there is the echo. Um, I don't know easy solution for this. I will try to figure out a way to reduce the echo. Uh, probably I might have to use a better handset, uh, headset, which will reduce the echo. Uh, OK, uh, thank you very much for the feedback. Uh, so uh, to get to the context, uh, we are in the middle of uh, the exercise. Um, yesterday, I have given exercise to develop the word count. So if you want the exercises, you can go to uh, big data category. And then in that, there is workshop exercises as a subcategory. And now we are talking about developing, our, uh, developing the word count program. OK, so here you have to not only just develop the word count program, but you have to develop using Scala IDE, uh, using TypeSafe config, where you have to externalize uh, the execution mode, and then uh, uh, also the parameters. So let me add those details over here. Yes, Hemant, thank uh, Himanshu. I have started the recording. I'm saying make sure input path, input and output, output paths are passed as arguments. Also use TypeSafe config to externalize execution mode. Okay, and then um, as part of this exercise, you just test it on your PC, build the jar file. And then we have another exercise uh, to run it on the cluster using Spark submit command. Um, and then also understand the stages, executors, tasks, uh, what is the work uh, each task is doing, um, go, through the, go through the DAG. All those things are part of another exercise, which is which says deploy and run word count application on the cluster. So only for the first time, we have broken into two exercises going forward. Uh, we pick up any use case and we have to um, uh, we have to do everything we have to use best practices uh, with the scala ide to develop the application we have to build the jar file and ship the jar file to the cluster um, run it on the cluster and you have to observe uh, whatever is happening on the cluster okay so run the jar file on the cluster In uh, 
have the mode during spark submit command so you have to figure out what uh, which spark submit i mean how to use the spark submit command i have demonstrated yesterday if you are not comfortable writing the spark submit you should go to the documentation spark programming guide and try to understand how to build the spark submit i am reiterating again uh, so here you can go to quick start and search for spark submit there is a section for spark submit let me see if you go here submit yeah so this is the link uh, which will give you the details about how to submit the spark application this is the example uh, first parameter should be class and then master if you are using yarn uh, yarn client if you are passing yarn client as uh, uh, as the execution mode you have to specify master as yarn and then uh, you don't need to worry about these things for now you have to pass the application jar in between if you want to override any uh, number of uh, executors number of ports memory etc you have to put it before uh, passing the application jar and uh, whatever program you are trying to run the class is already specified here you have to pass the arguments in our case there are three arguments one is input path second one is output path and third one is dev or prod uh, depending upon which uh, the program will determine whether it has to run in local mode or in yarn mode okay so use this forever reference so i'm pasting this link here Okay, and here you have to give HDFS paths as input and output uh, as arguments. Um, and you have to validate output directly to see how many files are created. And then uh, determine number of executors used to run, determine number of executor tasks used to run. Uh, this number will be, uh, this number is, has to be determined for each stage. Okay. And uh, how many executor tasks ran by each executor in each stage okay, and uh, try to understand uh, and the relevance of number of executors executor cores and memory and observe the behavior uh, in that way you will be familiar with the parameters i think uh, that also might be here only uh, this is how you have to specify if you want to specify memory cores don't try with the course and memory for now. It's a little bit complicated and uh, this has to be determined uh, uh, keeping several things in mind. I will explain later. For now, you just focus on executor course. Okay, that's what I will mention in this also. Uh, sorry, executor, uh, executors, num executors is the parameter. Okay, change the number of executors and observe the behavior. Um, and you, you need to identify the number of stages used to run. okay so i'm saving this and i'm giving the url to you so that you can use this as a reference to to complete the exercise to run so we we have to finish both so if you guys have tried uh, so far and if you have any questions let me know i will clarify your questions otherwise spend the whole day uh, the next 50 minutes in completing this exercise third and exercise fourth okay and also ankit have asked me to create a document uh, ramesh will be helping me in creating that document for all these exercises we will be providing explanation and solution so that uh, once you practice you can use the document for reference um, and uh, and get up to speed whenever you have to in future so we will be doing that exercise um, I am lagging a little bit behind. Uh, Ramesh might to be helping me on that. So we'll, we both will try to work on that and we will get back to you with, with the documentation where for each of these exercises, we will be providing explanation.
and also the solution. So if if you have too much trouble with echo, let me know uh, so that I, I can try a few things here and make sure the echo is down. And also I will try to buy a better headset. And uh, uh, probably some noise will be re reduced. Um, and, and you will be able to hear me better. So people on YouTube live, you can also access these uh, exercises going through that link. You will not be able to respond, I guess, but you will be able to see the exercises and uh, you can do these exercises. If you, are, if you are attending for the first time, you have to go back to the playlist and go to the videos uh, which are uploaded earlier and they have to come to this point. Yes, Ravindra, I'm here. You can unmute yourself and ask the question also, if you have a longer question. And let me give the link for the exercise three also. And also beyond this class, if you are practicing and if you have any questions, uh, I, you guys can actually reply and ask the questions. And I will be glad to help. And we will have a log of uh, all the doubts you you got uh, you get at the time of uh, uh, practicing this one. Hey, yes, Ravindra. Yeah, here uh, you wanted uh, us to do exercise four and exercise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exercise three is about developing the program using Scala IDE. Okay, here if you see, uh, let me zoom in a little bit. So you just have to develop work on program using Scala IDE. You should be able to read the data from files and write the work on output to files. And then make sure input and output paths are passed as arguments, whatever I have explained yesterday, yesterday and day before. Use type safe config to externalize execution mode. Okay, and so on and so forth. And you, you should test on your PC. So you might get into an issue. If you're using Windows laptop, you might get into an issue while reading the files because of lack of winutils.exe file. If that is the case, you have to set up and then only will be able to test it on your PC. And uh, coming to the exercise That is right. You just have to copy the jar file to the cluster and run it on the cluster and validate and observe what is happening on the cluster. Okay, for those on YouTube, uh, for today, this is it. Uh, it's just an exercise and they will be doing the exercise and if they have any issues, uh, they will come back to me. Uh, even if you have any issues while developing the program, uh, while going through those, uh, 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 while performing, while providing solutions 
to those exercises. Uh, you can ask the questions um, uh, in uh, discuss.itversity.com and I will be glad to help. And also, if you if you are not sure about what is happening, you just have to go through the playlist and the playlist link is this one. Um, okay and you will be able to follow the videos which uh, you just have to uh, follow scala and spark workflow uh, videos and you will be able to come to this point and then you can uh, do the exercise and the code snippets and the, everything are available as part of these videos if you have any questions on that if you want the code snippet uh, for your purpose let me know i'll be providing it in discuss.itvst.com Okay, that being said, uh, let me add the today's video also uh, to uh, to the playlist and then I will wrap up uh, this session. Okay, it is not yet here. Uh, okay, I can add it from here. Okay, so I, I have added this video also to the same playlist and if i go to the playlist now today's video will be at the end so i have to uh, no ramesh actually i i have muted uh, and waiting for your questions i'm just explaining uh, and uh, adjusting these videos in the youtube Okay, and I'm wrapping up the session on the YouTube because this is all uh, exercise and there won't be much uh, talking uh, going forward. Once I wrap up, I will be able to answer your questions. Okay. So here I'm placing this video in the proper order. And also let me uh, rename this video. Okay, and now you are good to go. Just follow that playlist, and uh, if you have any questions, start writing the questions in discuss.itvarsity.com. That being said, thank you very much for joining today's session. Again, if you want to practice uh, any of these big data technologies, go to labs.itvarsity.com, sign up for the account, and you will get the plans here. These are the plans. Enroll for the lab, and you can start practicing. That being said, thank you. Bye.